Good morning. This morning we're at the Granite Quarry in Rockport. Beautiful place. Not too sunny today, but here's our view. That's what we're going to paint right there. All right, so we'll start as usual by wetting our paper. What I'm wetting here is the is the quarry shape itself. I'm not doing the sky yet. I'm starting with the quarry. So basically I've taken some raw sienna with a touch of quince sienna, mixed them together, and I'm just painting the top of the quarry shape, letting that run down on its own. You can see I'm just dropping some ultramarine blue in the sky here, bringing it down to the quarry, not touching it. We have trees on top there, so we don't have to worry about touching it, but I'm bringing it down. I just want to get that gray sky in right now. So I'll put that in and let it down. And you can see the, the quarry color is running straight down. I just want to paint the shape of the quarry itself, the, the, the uh, stone, and I'm going to drop different colors in that. Uh, and that's what you're looking for, this beautiful variation in color from cools to warms and, you know. So there's the sky. I'll let that uh, come down on its own. So dropping in some uh, Quinn Sienna here mixed with raw Sienna. I'm going to use some ultramarine blue. And just let them run. I'm just, just paint that shape and let them run. Let it, let it go where it wants to go. It'll give you a beautiful sense of uh, warm and cools throughout that stone shape. There you go. So just let it come down. Right now I'm adding some darks. There's a real piece of dark in that corner. All right, I'm taking a credit card here now, and I'm just squeegeeing. You know how to do this. Just squeegee. You don't want to dig into the paper, so you're just moving the water off the paper, using the grain of the paper as texture for the stone, which is beautiful. And you could stop and go here and get some lines coming down. It's really nice because it each movement is like a shape of itself, so... So go right across the whole shape. All right, now I'm coming in with my brush and I'm just, just kind of defining some of the stones. There's so much detail here. You have to just go with it and you're gonna, it's gonna take you some time to, but don't try to shape every stone. You're not trying to paint this like a portrait. You know, you just see the nice colors in there. All right, going back with some ultramarine blue on top of that Quincy in it get that shadow around the corner here. I'm making it a little darker than it was. I want to define that, those edges in the stone. Just take some water and pull that color over. I'm using my credit card again here to define just different stone edges and lights and darks. Enjoy it. You can do, do so much, you know, so much with a straight edge here. All right, going back again, I'm going to define some more stone. This is a long process, so take your time with it, you know, and then go in with a round brush and start to define some of the shapes. You know, look at the photo uh, uh, for inspiration, but don't try to paint it like a portrait. Enjoy the process, just you're creating stones. I'm using the credit card again to just shape smaller stones, bigger stones, just pushing that paint over or off and letting it run down. It'll give you some beautiful color, beautiful shapes. Keep it, keep it nice and wet. Keep spraying it so you can move that color around, picking up some drips. I'm taking a damp brush now lifting out some lights on the paint on the stones shaping stones smaller brush to create some crevices and cracks in the stone 
know, again, just look at the photo, get some inspiration for the shapes, but do it on your own. All right, so the, there's a lot of uh, trees and bushes and shrubbery growing inside the rocks, so I'm putting some of that in now, <coughs> just mixing some cobalt blue with a little iridium yellow <coughs> to get that green color. You can see I'm going back and forth creating the stones and a lot of fun. Back with the credit card. <laughs> Yeah. Just keep creating those shapes. All right, this tree's on top here, so I'm going in now and uh, creating some of those trees <coughs> all along the top of the the rocks there. You can see. Going in with the darks right up. The darks come down right to the edge of that, of the quarry. working into the you can see they're all different colors so don't don't you know the key there is to make your trees all different colors I'm even using some of the quarry color mixed in with the green to give a brownish color and so I created that whole strip of trees on the top now I'm back in developing the stones again you have to keep going over it, let, let it dry up a little bit going back. Different directions with your brush. Skimming across here and there. All right, we have some trees on top that are uh, bare. They're just basically bare. They're, you know, they're just heavy branches near the middle there. They put a little bit of shrubbery on top of it. They add a nice little dimension, a little bit of depth in the back. Going back again, just putting a little, developing more stones and rocks and all kinds. That's your whole painting there, you know. <clears throat> so take your time with it. Get that finished before you go on to anything else. That's all raw sienna, cobalt blue, burnt uh, quinceana, quinacridone sienna, ultramarine blue. All right, before I do the water, I, I'm just touching up the edge of the quarry itself, the edge of the stone. It's very dark, and there's some cracks and crevices that go up into it. And, and it's nice, because when you do the reflections, you want to do those dark, dark areas. So just, you, if you look at it, you'll see it's, it's very dark. All right, I'm wetting the water. You want to get that nice and wet. Remember, uh, reflections come straight down always, you know, so I'm dropping some cobalt blue in first. That's the color of the sky uh, reflection. So I'll let that put it in, and, you know, have patience here, give it a chance to come down. Some nice color in it. Let it start to flow, you know, if it's not flowing, drop some... Uh, a spray, give a little spray so that it starts to come down. All right, I'm mixing up a dark. This is a dark blue, actually. It's ultramarine blue with uh, a, a touch of quinceana. And I'm just developing different shapes, reflections. It's all nice and wet. Remember those reflections come straight down. Let them come straight down. Give it a spray. Help them to come down. And I'm going back with some uh, warm color, uh, ultramarine, I'm sorry, raw sienna, quinceana. Just touching it here and there, not all the way. You don't want it to be all the same. So right, what I'm doing here is I, I have a wet brush and I want the water to run. The water will take 
the color with it and develop a real nice reflection of the stone. There you go. I'm taking it, you know, just creating some feathering of the ripples. It's still wet, so it'll all soften. All those edges will be nice and soft. Just spotting the dark brush in there a little bit here and there. Some more water, just just touching it with a, you know a little warm color, letting letting it run down. You can see you try to mirror some of the some of the darks up top and some of the lights and it'll give you a beautiful reflective color of the, of the quarry. Taking a damp brush, lifting out some some uh, of the color a little bit here and there, carrying those ripples across. Okay, well that's a nice painting. I had fun with that. Thank you. I hope you you did too. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're safe and sound. And I hope we are able to get together real soon. Thanks again. And please don't forget to subscribe. Much appreciated. Thank you.